Gentlemen, I've been Mid-Bist. called out. Clip this for him, okay? Midbist, where's the new YouTube video about me? I'm Ryan Kwan, buddy. Where's the new YouTube video? I don't Nemesis. See it. Where is it? Why are you making YouTube videos about total noobs? How about you get an actual real gamer on here, huh? Where's the new YouTube video? You have so many champions you can make of me. Pantheon? Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. literally the best Pantheon in the world right now, by the way. So the rank one player in Europe, Nemesis, absolutely stomping the server at the moment. He's called me out. He's hey Drew. Hey, we're friends. He can call me out. Hey Drew. Where the hell is my video? I'm abusing the most broken champion in the game right now and you haven't done a video. Well, there's a reason I didn't really want to make it. Because he's abusing Pantheon and the build right now is too strong. The champion is point and click with an AP jungle meta. It's free low and I really didn't, as an integral part of the community, want to ruin the ranked server and the imbalance everybody's MMR. But hey, he's called me out. I think I owe it to him. I'll do the video. We'll jump into the game, but first a word from today's sponsor. Before we continue with the video, a big shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video and also bringing a bit of awareness. I had no idea about this stat, ready? One man, every hour of every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer. 15, not 50, 15. We need to get ourselves checked, gentlemen. Um, If you feel anything weird going on or see something strange happening down there, please go and get yourself checked. Um, That's where Manscaped can potentially help you out. We have the Lawnmower 4.0, which I've been using for a long time now you get that light get that low light situation sometimes you know you, you partner up with the sponsor use their products they're good um but for manscape dude these products are sick i've been using them i i seriously i this is my go-to in the bathroom when i need to freshen up you got things like the boxer briefs you have things like nose trimmer bam get inside there get all cleaned up but the focal point today guys just stay safe get yourself checked um i believe manscape is also donating twenty five thousand dollars to the Testicular Cancer Society. So thank you to Manscaped and gentlemen, let's just stay safe this year. Uh, link down in the description below. Use code word MIDBEAST, 20% off. Um, try their products, get yourself checked. Let me know how you go. So coming onto the rift now, gentlemen. Ideal scenario, you have a Nidalee jungle. You have a Karthus, you have an Elise. You have even a Rumble jungle getting played at the moment. Any AP jungle that you can synergize it with, this Pantheon is gonna be pretty much optimal against anything. It generally doesn't have really that many bad matchups as we get a flash W to begin. You can see why you go for those invades. Double ward. Nearly flash. Oh, there's three flashes early for a kill. Debatably, not even sure if that's worth. Three flashes and two wards. But we'll head back to base. Maybe... Okay, we got him, guys. We can't pick up anything for the 50 gold. And, um... Okay, this song is too much. Nemesis likes to run teleport. I, once again, in your lower elo games, I know people like teleport, but you're not using it correctly. If you use the ignite, oh, bits. you will get yeah, early game kills, and, and you're going to be able to get two way marks. better 2v2s with your jungle and lower elos where it's chaotic. High elo, you need TP, because some people can actually lane and bully Pantheon out and poke him early. Lower elo, it's probably not going to be happening as much, so I reckon go for that ignite, go for a little cheese, little kill. The rune page quickly up above me on screen. Nemi. Okay. Just gonna wait. And it'll come through. Unfortunately, we have that W start. Usually, if you're into a mage, like a victor or something, you start Q and you just hang back. So he actually misses one creep there. Nemesis, I versed him a few times. Preferably you Beat him, by the way. Matchup, Lost twice. Um, so he's one of the best laners I've versed. He's really efficient. And he's smart. Some laners you verse and they're just, they're so mechanical, but they're dumb. Like, when I versed Rookie, it almost just what, felt what? like he was so aggressive and so inefficient that I kind of said to myself, there's no way he can win a trade here. And I'm sitting questioning it like, there's no way, what is he doing? And then as I hesitate, that's when I die. As we come through, that Q will kill. He's not gonna flash? No oh. flash. Pantheon base Where's numbers are broken, if you didn't know. I think he saw a slight buff and then no one really talked about it and now he has one of the best win rates in the mid lane. And Nemesis has a great wave. He hasn't even ticked a potion. Nemesis is one of the best at like not wasting things like flash, like pots, like wards. He really thinks about back timings, how to use the teleport. He doesn't really, he, he has a very efficient thought process into the game and whenever I feel like I'm struggling in lane, I'll usually watch a couple of Nemi vods and he just helps me out as he 
misclicks on that minion. It's okay. Cast your curse. And this video is recorded just after I watched the T1 3 0 against no other than Mad. Poor Mad Lions, poor Niski. Getting a lot of hate. If we can land a long range Q, it does land it. Long range Qs is a pretty garbage. Get the short range one much better. I hope we don't die both then. Um, and tonight's game that I ha that hasn't come out it is C9. I like doing these predictions before the games. I it's C9 versus BLG. I'm predicting it's going to be a BLG win, like but I think C9 can push it. And if on Ooh, the day, I think the they goods. can actually come out with a win. Ooh, no. Berserker is surprisingly one of the best ADs of the tournament. That's worth. BLG's That's best player is is Bin. Um. I think Fudge can handle that. I think MNS, as much as I dislike I the guy, I think he's a very good. She auto the oh, the I, I think buff. I think MNS oh is a very God, good mid laner and can can put damage baby. onto you, gal. So I'm interested to see what happens. I'm calling I'm calling BLG three two or C nine three two. I think it's gonna go either way. I don't think it's gonna be a stomp. My prediction. So we'll get Lucidity Boots early. You'll see a lot of these mids, by the way. Like, so many mids at the moment will just first back Lucidity buy. Um, you see Fakey doing it. see Chovy doing it. Almost every champion. What does it do? It lowers your flash cooldown. That's the number one thing. Very efficient. The cooldown reduction you're getting. It's as simple as that. It's just the the, the flash cooldown coming down and the, and the haste and the how cheap the boots are. It's just... A lot of people are going in as we try and steal the kill with the Shit. Q. What a hit. And let's see if he can land it. Q straight through, kills him. Okay. Gonna part through with the naughty. And you'll see why this pick is so good. It's yeah, not just this it. laning, then there's like such a good wave state by Nemi. This is this is why he gets rank one, because he just builds leads like this. And he, a lot of players will just back there and TP in, but he knows he doesn't need to. Stacks the Conqueror here. Kasante wants to try and get the wave in. An E into auto Q will get the kill. Can't quite get it. Um, and the build path here is so damn efficient. That it pretty much means when you get this champion, gold for gold, pound for pound, up against like mages. Your gold is just worth more. You're getting more. When you can go things like Eclipse into Cleaver. It's... You can't really deal with it. we got the Shredded Dirk here. We'll TP back in. Nemi, like Baus, like LS. They're starting to be a little bit of a wave. A little bit of a trend as of late. And that is the No Pink Gang. Gold costs 75. If you're smart enough. We steal another Q away. You can see those Qs, how much they bloody do. Um, if you don't have to ward, because uh. don't get it twisted, you guys probably don't look at the minimap, you might be wasting a lot of gold in the game. For me, I like control wards. I buy them, but I'm just saying, players like Baus, LS, and stuff are, are recently just going against them. And they don't like no. wasting gold. That doesn't include to full like item that. buys. Come on. If you're more of a utility player like me, that I just like to set up a lot of defensive jung like defensive vision for my junglers. Um and the mathematically better side for the pink, I like to do it. But the thing is, if the you buy pink 75 gold, but you see that if Amy clears it, not only are you down 75 gold, the enemy is also up 25. You're gifting them gold and taking gold away from your team essentially in a perfect world. Um so that's kind of the idea. Ultimates up here. Not always high. Threatening an ult, just so they back off and let the rain farm And you play this lane from level 6, essentially with like a twisted fate with your ultimate. You move into the river, you play vision. You want to play mind games. You want to push your lane, walk back off vision, and then just... The enemy team is going to start getting spam pinged. Hey, Pantheon's moving, Pantheon's moving. And then maybe you haven't moved. Maybe you're still in lane. Hitting me? Small things like that piss people off, trust me, and it works wonders. We find the Carthus. He's actually Fuck. going for this to contest. I fucked up my ult. Yeah, I didn't think that was a good one. Shit. I think you should have tried to cut him off with the chickens. That's alright. I fucked up my ult. Death is the only thing that ever me. 
And he has a massive level lead here. Two level lead into the Cassante. Probably like, what, one one and, let's be honest, closer to one. Um, but that's just simply about good back timings using the teleport. Cassante pops the ultimate. E comes through really nice. Auto. Oh, the Q just gets him. I was going to say, oh, auto Q. Almost got soloed there. Um, but once again, Pantheon, Conqueror stack, base damage is too much. If you see somebody, jump on top of them. And absolutely murder them. We'll come out of base. Maybe. Oh, unlucky. Oh, that's terrible. Karthus is still always in Italy. Karthus is two levels up. Jesus. So Nemesis at the moment, Shit. rank one. Plus his other account is over a thousand points. And that's coming from someone that Nemesis was usually hovering around about... You know, he was challenging Korea, but he wasn't consistently, like, let's say, top 20. He was maybe a top 200, top 100 player, depending on metas. So it just goes to show you how much stronger and harder the top ladder at Korea is. A lot of people don't realize it. Um, it's just a lot more competitive because of how many, in, not only in Korea, but also China. Um, and even some Southeast Asian players fill up the ladder. There's just a lot, a lot of talent there. I'm not saying he's bad. I, I use... For me, it goes... For me, actually, believe it or not, it goes Korea, then EU, then Chinese Super Server. Um, Chinese Super Server is strong, but it's not consistently strong. Uh, you watch some of the higher ELO games, and it's it's just plagued right. with boosters and, um, like, one-trick streamers who are doing, like, thing. Like, it's just... It's a weird server, and I think high ELO in, in EU would be a better practice environment. We 9 CS per minute here. Wouldn't be surprised if we get close to 10. He's hovering. Just trying to get a little bit. You gotta be careful on the Cassante. They can stun you up. Italy, Spear, lands, E. That's gonna get a kill there. Nautilus, actually, they're going. We don't even need it. We get the assist. And I'm being genuine when I say you can play first time Pantheon in your ranked game. Your Q, if you hold it, will go long. Your Q, if you don't, will go short. Your E blocks damage coming in. Your W is a jump and stun. And your ultimate... You, you, it's a Skyfall, bro. Don't, don't, it's, there's really not that many complex mechanics with Pantheon. Oh, oh fuck. I can't so stop it. I there's no way you can dodge that. Nautilus Ult will finish. Shit. And we hit that Eclipse at 10 minutes. Making our way towards Cleaver. And I just love this setup. I love the team comp. Fuck. Yes, I got a shot down. If you're into, by the way, enemy mid jungle and they're both AP, let's say you're into Ari and a Nidalee or an Elise, just go Mercs. You can go Hex Drinker. You can build extremely defensive and slowly make your way towards Bruiser. That's fine. Now, Alt is up. You can use Ultimate to get back for waves. I recommend not to. Let's say if there's five or six CS coming under tower, you could use it. But if it's only two or three, never use it. I'd say a full wave is worth using ultimate for. Less than that? Definitely not. Especially if it's, if it's not a cannon wave. Got that Q max now. Warded spotted. W in. And with this eclipse... You just, you just always trade. You proc the eclipse and then you just... You move on with your day. Look at the wave clear. Look at the wave clear. I don't need to say anything more. The Q is like two... The Q is three seconds flat. And you just... It's too Q to clear the wave. And you just have, don't even have... It costs 25 mana. The Q probably needs to cost more mana to make it balance. I don't know. I always hit DC again. You got DC vein. Pop that back if you can. I'm not sure if he can. I don't think he can quite go for the dive. Just use those plates. They haven't really been synergizing the Pantheon Nidalee, but it will come into effect later in, in team fights. Nidalee should always hold. Oh, we could flank with the ult here. He's going to go for a traditional flank, not even use the ultimate, and just wait. Vayne flashes in, and it's just a Karma. He could flash. Oh, I think that was a bad flash, That's actually. You could still ultimate, oh, but... the same target as me. Surely League of Legends isn't this fucking hard. Get the kill that. 
He went for the free target. That wall's kind of hard to flash, so he just committed for it. He'll ult through. No, he won't. He'll leave the wave and he'll TP back. He was thinking about ulting. Oh, there's... Okay, he makes it out. TP back in, making our way towards the cleaver. Get the Kindle Gem. Lucidity Boot. Lucidity to synergize well with the cooldown reduction. Up the back again. You'll notice all these high low mid laners. You track where the enemy is going to base. Highly likely. You stop the base there. You can't spend the gold. If you can't spend the gold, it's useless gold. We know that. So the optimal thing is after you've based is to keep them out there. Because if they're sitting on a thousand gold and you've just spent a thousand. Fucking Tabe Karma. What are you doing? Don't need to say anything more. You know, Vayne has true damage and I have way too much armor pen in my build while we're buying Tabe. Instead of spiking with Lucidity. You tell an Emmy. 9.42 CS per minute. Ultimate available here on the Ezreal. If we can ult in and maybe even just get a summoner, it's worth it. Ults. I think Ezreal even... Did he flash that? There we go. There's the flash. Let's see. We get the summoners. And even just getting summoners, as I said, for ultimate is worth. Pantheon ultimate. Like two minute cooldown. Flash is five. the damage good mechanics and I have found my limit a thousand times and still still honestly like a level and a half up on the Cassante and there's not many ways this guy can come back once we get the cleaver his tankiness will not be relevant god I'm sick of this meta and I'm even surprised that this champion doesn't get even contested in pro play I think you can actually make it work I see a lot of this Nautilus mid, um, people experimenting with these tanks. It's like, if you want something pure stat based that has good ult engage, like you could do a Pantheon. You could easily do a Pantheon Elise or a Pantheon Nidalee. As Cassante thinks he wins this, I think most certainly you do not use that E correctly and doesn't even need to use the Q there. People don't understand the Pantheon numbers, you just got to play it right. this so satisfying and easy underrated champions right now mid lane pantheon top lane allow sorry if we lose another game where we're so hard early jungle what to do, man. Hmm. maybe lilia maybe lilia more ways than one bot lane support don't really care i know what's overpowered aphilios Beautiful CSing. We're pretty much 10 CS per minute here. We're going to get the back. We need Cleaver. Um, the back and wait 6 gold. We'll get it. Okay, running out of base. We've hit the Black Cleaver. We have the Eclipse. We have Lucidity Boots. Now's your time to absolutely take over the game. Take every fight you can and go for the end. Pantheon doesn't scale so well. Hit this mid game. Try and take over the game. We still have an item to go that I haven't talked about yet. And that is called Spear of Sojin. It has really good synergy with Pantheon, of course. Um, you can pretty much just get d two Ws, two stuns at once. Um, and this... Just this... Pantheon, number one, is not weak. The build is super cost efficient. And the Spear of Sojin synergy that nobody really... Like, high elo players know about Spear of Sojin. But a lot of the mid to lower elo players don't know anything about it, what it synergizes with. And... This is pretty much what it comes down to. Why Pantheon's broken. Why Nemesis hit rank, rank 1 in EU West using it. Nemesis, without it, would he be rank 1? I mean, looking at the win rates, no, he wouldn't. He might be rank 5. A measly, a measly couple hundred OP less. Um, but Nemi always good at finding broken picks, abusing them. Climbing his way to the top of the ladder. Somebody messaged me the other day. They said, Drew, did you hear about Nemesis joining one of the LEC teams? Nefaro, Chiha, thanks for subbing. And I don't know if that rumor was true. I don't know what's going on if Nemesis has any type of hunger to go back to the pro play. I didn't think he did. I'd be surprised if he did. He has the skill level to do it, but it would mean a massive commitment out of him when he could continue to stream and make content um, stress-free. Probably make similar coin, if I'm honest. That's why I don't join the top teams as a professional. It's like, I like I like doing what I do. Yes, you know, decline off our T1. I'm not going to replace Fakery next year. I like doing content, helping you guys out, interacting. 
And it's kind of chill not having like a, a, a boss kind of thing. I can just show up, I do my, I get motivated, do my own content. Rather, I don't have like a coach I'm breathing my neck I'm saying, 7 a.m., we have to get up and do a walk around the oval and then we got to do practice. I don't want that. I had that at school. I don't want it. Anyways, enough about me. Let's focus on Nemi. As we hit into the side lane, it should be no surprise. Side laning post 15 minutes as a Pantheon. As most mid laners, yes. But as a Pantheon especially, you have ultimate to cut across the mid. Even if you don't have the teleport, which I don't think you should use in low either, so you should ignite. Okay. Even with the Pantheon, Plus. I would love to see you guys cutting across with ultimate and flanking these greedy AD carry mains who just overextend. Spear of Sojin on the way in. Sweeper purchased, and I just love this build. I can't talk about it enough. One dragon in Till Sol. Really good setup. Perfect early game. The only concern is the enemy Riven at 10 CS per minute completely taking over. The good thing is we have guaranteed CC as enemy overextended. As I said, item power spike. What do we do? Fight, 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 fight. He hits the ultimate. We'll come straight in. Blanks them off. See if he's able to land anything. Any guaranteed CC moving through. Ezreal can hop over the wall. Nearly Spear goes wide. And we might just have to back up. Let the Vayne get the prior. Play the fight slowly. As Olaf actually ints it. I think Olaf will die. Massive grief by Olaf on the positioning. Can't take that. Nemi is not spotted. They don't know he's here. This could be a good angle. Ooh, I would love to have seen him look for that, look for that with the Nidalee. But... It's hard to synergize everybody. Would be nice to have uh, a little bit of... Oh no, that's such a good flank. We need to get out of here. Desante pops the ultimate. Ezreal hits. Gets knocked back. And he actually will die here. Can he take anyone down? He can't. And that's just... just the game. A, what are they doing? It's a terrible fight. So oh, bad of a fight. So annoying. And there was nothing really he could do about that. It seems like doing a random fight here? What is the point of this? There is no point to the fight. There is zero point. So annoying, man. And he is in rightfully allowed to have a little bit of a cry. You have Soul coming up. You have Vayne scaling comp. And you just take random fights around the Baron for no reason. It fr it's frustrating, but mentally you need to be prepared. Hey, what happens if my Solicute teammates... I have mashed potatoes for brains. It, it, it's always, it's, it's literally always a scenario in your games, guys. And please imagine your teammates as mashed potato heads. This maybe will, you know, your expectations will be at a correct level. Don't expect too much from your teammates because then every game, if you expect every game your teammates play like Gumi Yushi or something, like, like, like uh, Ona in the jungle, Every game, you're going to be like, oh my god, you should have done this, it's the perfect play. Bro, your teammates don't have a brain. Don't expect anything. Just play the best that you can. All you can do. And I've been spewing this garbage about how Solicue's all on you for years now, and I still feel that people still come into me and complain about their teammates every single day. Bro, I can't climb, my teammates always suck, but my friend, he gets easy teammates and he's climbing. Easy, if you play more than 50 games, it's just not possible that it's always your teammates, guys. It's simply not, it's not possible. Get one of the little mirrors, have a look and see who's looking back at you. That is the issue, fix it, or you'll never climb. A little bit of realism here. Um, Daddy Drew, as we have the ultimate, the flank, Vayne keeps DCing, tilting a little bit. This could be a massive flank. He's gonna hear the ultimate dead center, come straight in. CC's up, Nautilus Hook lands, and that's going to take Karma out first. Vayne on a hunt. Karthus will use his ultimate. Do we have like a, a locket? There we go. Locket to counter the Karthus, as we know. And we have the soul fight upcoming. Very excited. Once again, they're not fighting with the team. Just wait, please. You need mid lane priority in high elo. Do you see how they've cut the wave? Now they have inside track to mid. Now the fight feels very awkward for red team. Scuttle. Secured. Teleport coming in now. This hook lands onto the Karthus. Nemi is trying to guard the flank. Q takes it out. Snipe. And now just kite it out. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Please tell me Riven doesn't get the perfect engage here. Riven moving in. She's looking. They're able to get the Cassante. They're able to get the Riven. And they get the Q onto the Ezreal. And he'll flash over. WQ. 
One Q, gonna fit it. Fade away, misses, could have hit. And just look at the base numbers when you get that cleaver stacked up. You shred, you shred. No amount of armor they buy is gonna be able to with withstand your armor shred. Now we're gonna get the Spear of Sojin, and this is where the fun really begins. We come in, we've got 3.1k health, 300 armor. Enough armor shred to get rid of any, any type of health or armor in our way. The only thing that Pantheon struggles with is super, super late game fights and, all full, and having a full AD comp. So number one, make sure you have a little bit of AP on your team. And number two, close that goddamn game out as early as possible. Fight for the dragons early, force for the heralds, force on item, power spikes. When you hit this gold, you go. You pull the trigger. I get really annoyed when I see people play champions and they don't know when their biggest spikes are. Or they hit them and then they they, they don't do anything. When you hit your spike, dude, that's when you, you're in have a team if you're too fast, too furious, and, and the other True. NOS, and you hit the goddamn NOS max, Vin Diesel straight past Paul Walker. Bam! How can, you how have how to go. have a team when he's 200 TS as Graves at mid 15 and his Nexus explodes? <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about here. Bro, you got a Ferrari. Can we can we start running this Ferrari up or what? The power of these gods is but an echo of our own. I don't know what to build next. I only know there are three item cores. I actually don't know what you build next. Oh, As he's good. looking for the R. If they overextend, he might even look for a dive. Doesn't end up going for it. He's gonna hold out under the top side. Nothing happens and just keep sho shove, shove, shove. You've always got the ultimate to regroup. Wave won't go through. A lot of Pantheons really screw up here by overextending themselves. They'll ult behind the tower, force the team into a stupid dive, and lose the game. I don't don't do that, bro. Just push. Just push. Do you see him? He's looking so greedy here, and he knows this. In between is not worth it because his ultimate range wins. It, it, it lands, so you just shove. Asante can't match, can't move. This might be a good ultimate. We have the wave this time. The tower will drop in time and he'll come through. Look for the W. It lands on the Karma. They should probably... They didn't really synergize, but they will get the Karma. They will get the Ezreal. Now they're looking for the Kasante. 1Q finishes them off. 11, 2, and 8. 26 minutes in. Okay. Can't block the Karthus damage, but it won't matter. Nice. We'll head back to base and see what this fine gentleman builds. I would normally go... With, I, would, I would think in my head like a GA or something. But it seems he's going Anathema's Anathema's chain. This must be some little secret tech that I don't really know about. I know we used to do this on like Vega mid or something when we had enough scaling damage. Where it's like we don't need any more damage, we need survivability. Pantheon doesn't need survivability. I'm guessing he just thinks the item itself is very gold efficient and he likes it. Puts it onto like the enemy Riven so he, the Riven can never kill him. Yeah, we have to Nash. It's fine, this game is probably won though. Nemesis, if you watch this video, can you DPS can you tell me? Decrease. I think I just spoke over the reasoning. Out. Just give your explanation in the comments down below. I'll pin it. Also, gentlemen, if you do like this gameplay, I will link Nemesis' stream in the description down below. You can check him out on twitch.tv forward slash lol underscore nemesis, I think it is. Probably you should like apply to get just the straight nemesis tag. Maybe there's another points. guy that sniped his name. Nemesis, I guess, oh, is a pretty no, common name. I was surprised the Midbeast name was up. It's super, super cool name and super, like, uh, trendy. But it was up, available on every oh, single platform, which God. is so surprising. And we... Actually, into there. We did the exact thing that I told you not to do, and he does it, to give us... Oh, thank you very much for that. Because we had the Nash, we had the Hex. No, All we had to do was play slow and wait, and instead he completely throws the game and potentially loses it. This is a great example. Nemesis maybe did that on purpose for me. We appreciate that. Thank you, Nemesis. Uh, because doing this may have lost us the game. We've made it nothing. We've done it. We've done a, a full I risk. Do, but then Vein goes and throws too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can't blend the Vein. You cannot blend the Vein for that. You have to look inwards. He knows this. Too. That play bot. Nice play, but you were going to win the game. Play. You were going to win the game. I trolled, we I didn't trolled, need to I do that. So, thank you. When you have a winning play, and then you make a, a risky play that if it doesn't work, you lose, why make it when you already have the winning play?
But thank you, Nemesis, for pointing that out. Everybody learning get today. Much, but still. You don't want to slow the tempo. You want the tempo on with the Baron. We know this. We learn from this. We move on. As I, by the way, if you haven't been watching me on oh, twitch.tv yeah, forward slash midbeast, we've been tracking all the pros, Faker, Chovy, Knight, Hello. Ona, Gumiyushi, Ruler, like, all the pros are over in EU at the moment playing like, solo queue. He so weirdly. Come by, watch the stream. Really you got nothing weird. to do. A lot of people just, if they're in their work day, work from home, and they just put me up on a second, sc a second screen, man. Just chilling. Just say hi. Why not? Stop by. Join the, join the team. And if you don't join me, then you're I'm against me and you're my enemy. So I will crush time. you. And this might be really good. We found the flank in. They'll be straight onto the Riven. Get the W. We could flash W this guy and just look for the end. They will inevitably get the win. The Nidalee still had the Baron. Absolutely perfect, nice. almost perfect game by the Pantheon. Guys, go in your Soliku games and just abuse this. I don't see why not. You will get ELO inflated. It will happen and you'll probably, when it gets nerfed, you'll drop back to your normal rank. But if you want to impress a girl or your friends, go ahead and do it. Without further ado, gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today's video. Nemesis, thank you for the content. High five. All right, high five. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Good night. Nice.